Air Chiropologist, I'm Joe, and today we're looking at another member of the SP family from Solar, the SP All Terrain Barrow. So here we go, the SP All Terrain Barrow. Now it looks like quite a bit of a beast and I've barely got it loaded to its full capabilities. But it may be big, it's not heavy. It's made from a welded aluminium frame, so there's not too much weight from it. The only thing that isn't aluminium are the handles where they're steel. That's just because they're gonna be taking a lot of weight and a lot of uh, stick basically, because that's what's gonna be all the weight transferring onto. So that's nice and strong. And talking of the handles, they are fully adjustable. So I can adjust this so that it's just a slight bend of the knees and I can pick it up. Keep my arms nice and straight. There's nothing worse than having a a barrow where the handles are fixed in place and you're walking around with it like this because that's put all the weight onto your arms tiring you out before you get to the swim so i've adjusted this perfectly for the height of my arms just got to stand up slight bend of the knees and i'm up into the right position easy to push around without making my arms really tired let's get it all off and show you some of the other features So here it is with everything off. Now, as you can see, big frame, as I said, but it weighs next to nothing. Thanks to its aluminium frame, it is really lightweight, despite its size and capabilities. The handles are fully adjustable, again, as I said, so you just loosen off these two little adjusters and the handles slide up really quite long and then go back in. And they double up as another use as well, as they lock into place with the legs on the barrow. So there's no chance of the legs collapsing on themselves because as soon as the handles are through the, the sort of little loops, the metal frame loops, there's no way that they can buckle in. On the top, as you can see, is another big sort of ingressed uh, bag that sits into it so it doesn't waste any space. Plenty of room in here for either your clothing or if you want to use it for a load of food, freezer bait, whatever you like. Double zip bag, sits on there, nice and flat. So it doesn't take up any space, but utilizes the space between the wheel and the legs. Now the sides are fully adjustable once again, just like the legs, uh, the arms, sorry. You've got these two adjustable screw threads here and two on the other side. And once those are loosened, you can tuck them in, folds flat as well. So if you like, you can have a much smaller barrow and it doesn't have to take up as much space. Same with the front, that folds down flat, that folds in, and this at the back, which is like a rod rest, can also be adjusted in height or completely removed. So it can be as big or as small as you like, depending on how much gear you're taking. Now, as I said, the handles are made of steel because they're under a lot of pressure. They need to be able to live up to a lot of weight that's on the barrow and over a lot of all terrains. So they're made out of steel and they're square in shape and they slot into these square mounts on the barrow themselves. So there's no way of them twisting around. They are locked in place solid. Tighten them up to wherever you want them. And at this end, you've got a rubber grip, good grip, much more comfortable and just a lot of control on the barrow. Now, thanks to its fold flat design, it takes a very little space in storage, whether it's in your shed or garage, and even getting it into your car is pretty easy, and that's also thanks to how little it weighs. So if I fold down the sides, which I've pulled straight in, fold down the front, like so, this can then be fully removed. The handles can also be taken out. And now, once the handles are out, the bag will sort of squash up under itself, and the legs can be folded, like so. So there you are completely packed down and if you want you can even remove the wheel just loosen off these two screws down here wheel comes out and there you are barrow is nice and flat and small wheel is removed and the handles are removed that'll go in your car without a problem now as you just saw removing a wheel is very quick and easy i've got one of them here as you can see and taking it off just a case of undoing a couple of screws and sliding the whole wheel frame out now this is the wheel frame this slots onto two of the designated holes on the barrow. A couple of screws holds that in place. Again, aluminium welded frames are very sturdy. It's not going anywhere. The wheel itself, straight off the bat, as you can see, is quite a big in diameter. So it doesn't matter what sort of terrain you're going over, whether it's big rocks and bumps or really muddy, boggy areas, this should deal with it. And it's completely puncture proof. So again, if you're going over brambles or things that normally a, a tire would get punctured on, you can be uh, rest assured that this will not puncture. Now today I've been showing you the one wheel setup but you can set this up with two wheels. You can buy another wheel with its frame like this and transform your one-wheeled barrow into a two-wheel by simply removing this and slotting the wheels onto either side of the barrow where again there's designated slots, screw into place and transform it from a one-wheel barrow into a two-wheel barrow. 
Now I left the spare wheel at home stupidly, so I'm gonna have to show you all that in my garden. So there we go, the SP All-Terrain Barrow. A bit of a beast in its capabilities and the size that it can go up to. It can carry a lot of gear, but thanks to its aluminium frame, it's very, very lightweight, and the punch-proof wheel means that it's gonna get you through some of the harshest conditions. The barrow I've shown you today, the single wheel version, comes standard as a one wheel, and with the drop-in bag, comes in at 199.99. But if you wanna make it into a two wheel version, you can buy the separate wheel and frame for $44.99, so you can make it from a single wheel to two wheel. But if you wanna buy it straight from standard as a two wheel, it comes in at 240 pounds. For more information, please visit the Solar website. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon.